Hey folks, just for a little bit of fun today, I've decided to test out an ASUS machine. This is the one I've been using for uh, about a year now. It's got a Ryzen 5900HX, which is a nice processor, running Windows right now. And I've got Visual Studio 2022 in there. And I also have Visual Studio 2022 Preview for ARM running in a virtual machine inside my M1 Max MacBook Pro. Not a super serious video today. If that's what you're looking for, check out some other videos. But today we're just having a little bit of fun. And I was just curious to see which one is going to be faster at doing this algorithm, the Mandelbrot algorithm which I've done so many times on this channel before. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Benchmarks Game is what I'm talking about. You go to this website, I can link to it down below. And I'm going to pick C-sharp this time and pick out of all these algorithms, C-sharp.net. So basically, this is a program, short program written in C-sharp to utilize all the processors available, max them out. And uh, this is the Mandelbrot algorithm, which is those fractals. If you've ever seen those before, I don't know, maybe you've seen those, maybe you haven't. Mandelbrot was a mathematician that came up with those. So this is the algorithm for that written in C sharp. I'm going to do two things. One is I'm going to build this and run it inside Visual Studio in debug mode so we can compare that. And then I'm going to try a release mode and run it using .NET CLI. One other thing I added was a timer. This was not part of the code. I just added it so we can have it spit out the time that it took to run that right from the command line. And I used the stopwatch class from Diagnostics. So I start the stopwatch, run run it here and then I stop it. All right, let's go. This is not going to take long. Okay. And we're done. Now you probably knew what was going to happen here. This is a virtual machine, completely virtual machine, not making any excuses here, but it is a virtual machine. This one's not, this one's running windows right on metal and it got 6.5 seconds. This one took 8.5 seconds round it up, round it down, whatever. So this one is slower, two seconds slower, but not bad. So just to recap, we've got a Mac, which is an Apple Silicon machine. I've got Parallels running inside of there. And Parallels basically allows you to just create virtual machines, one after another, as many as you want. I got Ubuntu for ARM, I got Windows 11 for ARM. So Parallels hosts Windows 11. You give it some resources, you give it the number of processors you wanna use, the memory allocation. By the way, if you're interested in that there's a link down below you can get a free trial of parallels to check it out yourself now this is a brand new version of visual studio in preview i did a video on this just recently this one is the arm version of visual studio so really looking forward to the full release of this but right now it's just a preview so maybe the full release will be even faster i don't know but not bad so far it's very usable it's very snappy it's not as fast as last year's ryzen 5900 hx you know it's a virtual machine now now, there's one more test. I want to put this in release mode for both of these and I want to do a build, a release build. So let's go ahead and, uh, and do that. Build both of these and I'm going to pop out to the command line. I'm running the .NET CLI with the built release DLL passing the same parameter in there and let's go. This one is still faster. 2.5 seconds versus 3 seconds. So there you go folks. Just a little bit of fun on a Wednesday but you might be seeing this on a Thursday or a Friday. Anyway, have fun. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.